So, um, man, what a day. Just getting up, actually. But uh, it's funny. Today I want to talk a little bit about the difference between NGO and social impact um, organization. You know, NGO has been going on or has been existing for a long, long time. But unfortunately, the gap that has been existing um, is NGO a better responder for, for immediate crisis, you know, refugees, disasters. But long term solution has been a disaster for NGOs because their model is just not sustainable for a long term period. A lot of time, number one, they depend on having to raise money all the time, you know, to fund whatever um, programs or projects they have. And in the long term, that's not sustainable. Uh, number two, a lot of time, that the internal organization has to be involved in whatever aid. So, for example, let's say uh, that's actually at least the experience I've seen: refugee camps. You know, we we had a project uh, with an NGO to provide um, solar kiosk. And they had the employee working on the kiosk. And one of the things we told them, like, it's okay for the beginning, but in the long term, we need to find somebody within the camp we can train, monitor, to not only uh, offer those services from the kiosk, but also generate some type of revenue or, or either subsidize uh, the revenue uh, so they can, you know, live off. Uh, this particular business or feel like they're doing something and it was just not something they could do and whatever the case is liability questioning and all that and that's why social impact come in because the model of social impact is very simple it's not only having an impact on the ground but being profitable in a sense where you live off the business you have uh, and that's the definition of a long-term project you cannot have a long-term solution if you cannot, if your solution, you know, cannot provide the income uh, to keep on going and even growing, you know, uh, that's just a fact. So yes, in the beginning, social impact do depend on grants, on donation, we did, but the long-term design is to live off your business while doing the impact you need to be doing on the ground. And that's why I believe that NGOs and social impact enterprise are a perfect match to work with and to partner with, uh, especially those who work in areas, you know, the most vulnerable areas, looking for ways to better distribute solutions in rural and semi-urban area. So it's not about a comp competition per se, but more of, um, of a partnership when one come in and then the second one coming after a while just to take over you know and they can partner in different ways so that's my main thing today uh, i want to talk about and i think with those two entities things can be much much more better in the long run